there's some controversy around what it means to be an evangelical. Uh, in fact, some would argue that the 2016 presidential election kind of created a crisis point where we had a lot of soul searching about whether evangelical meant just certain political, partisan political alignment or whether it meant something deeper and more uh, meaningful uh, to us. So let me just ask you to begin whether or not you have experienced uh, a sense of dis-ease or unease or a sense of uh, perhaps uh, dissatisfaction with the way the term evangelical is used or with the way you see other people defining it. It's not at all uncommon for me to um, read, hear a report in, in uh, particularly mainstream media uh, talking about evangelicals. And, and I have to say from an anecdotal perspective, I don't even recognize it. Right. In, in other words, I, I hear a report, uh, evangelicals uh, recently met and said this, or right. uh, X percentage voted in a certain way. And I can honestly say that when I hear those reports, in my kind of circle of relationships, yes. uh, both personal and professional, I can honestly say that I can't think of one person uh, who, if you will, would fit what appears to be the profile that's being depicted. I, I would agree with Dave. I, I, my, my own sense of it is, is that there are all kinds of different understandings of what an evangelical is, but those outside of the camp oftentimes define it differently, uh, look at it differently than those of us who are inside the movement mm -hmm. do so. Mm -hmm. um, and that makes for this interesting tension, and I'm in tension with it right now, because our larger call is not to be an evangelical. Our larger call yeah. is, as, as you would say, Mark, the mission of God, or we would say the extension of the, of the kingdom of God through the gospel. Right. Yeah. And, and we want to reach people with the gospel because Jesus died for everybody and Jesus loves everybody. And we, we care about lost people and marginalized people and poor people, and that, that's who we are. But it does create Tension. And I can say to you without any qualm, any shadow of doubt, for me to identify myself as evangelical when somebody doesn't know me mm. in that mm -hmm. framework, in that context, mm -hmm. it is an immediately, it's perceived immediately as a negative term. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. almost totally in the context of social causes or political affiliations. Yeah. Evangelical at Denver Seminary, does that mean? conservative Republican? No. No, I, I, one of the things I think you've brought in terms of your presidency, Mark, and we appreciate it a lot, seriously, very much, the idea and emphasis on what you've labeled and what we, we're trying to live out, generous orthodoxy. That's right. mm -hmm. Within the confines of mm -hmm. certain tradition within the historic Christian faith, these are our beliefs, but we want to be generous and gracious about that. And no, it doesn't necessarily mean conservative Republican. Does it mean at Denver Seminary anti-intellectual or anti-science? These are accusations that right. we hear from those outside the movement. No, uh, it, it does not mean that. We, we are a seminary. We're not a graduate school of political science or of right. medical, right. <laughs> things medical. But, but uh, hopefully recognizing our limits, we also want to think Christianly. Yes. Think Christianly. Uh, across a wide range of of issues and and topics as best we can, and and hopefully uh, equip our students right. to think that way. So, as as somebody involved with teaching theology here, uh, I I can honestly say that we make it a conscious effort to uh, both, and I and I think both are important, to both teach um, the what of the Christian tradition, meaning, uh, again, within that stream of historic Christian orthodoxy, sure. what is it that we believe, what is it that churches, diverse churches believe, um, while at the same time also hopefully encouraging students to learn how to think mm -hmm. theologically sure. um, so that both they can engage a, a wide range of kinds of endeavors, how to think Christianly about politics, how to think Christianly about social issues of various kinds. Right. And if we have not equipped our students 
with, if you can put it this way, the tools yes. to be able to engage those yet unidentified questions, yes. um, then, then we haven't done our job well. One of the other misconceptions is that evangelicals are harsh and judgmental mm. in community with one another mm. and would, would involve ostracism or shaming. Right. Is that what we mean by evangelical at Denver Seminary? I think there's a, a tendency to want to turn this into a binary that yes. either you're a person of and an institution right. of firm and clear and definite convictions and beliefs right. um, or you're hospitable, uh, generous, generous orthodox, hospitable, generous, gracious. Right. People see those as being somehow incompatible and right. I, I think I would argue and I think we'd all here argue that's a false dichotomy. It is. Right. And uh, not claiming we always fully succeed as we would wish, right. but again by God's grace at our best, I think we'd like to be seen and, and in fact embody a community that is both marked by uh, firmly evangelical, historically orthodox Christian convictions, yeah. and a spirit of generosity and hospitality, right. both across the diverse wide range of the Christian tradition, right. and also to those who would not consider themselves part of that Christian tradition. I think it's very instructive that we can identify these core ideas that define the movement. and be honest about the fact that people who hold those ideas will express those convictions in different ways socially, in community, in liturgy, and even in their presence in the broader world.